Hey guys, I'm back. So, some of my friends have been asking me what this procedure is that I'm having done the smart lipo, baser lipo. I'm going to try to explain it the best way that I can. I mean, I'm not professional or anything like that. So, I'm just going to explain to you kind of basically how it's explained to me. I will be awake throughout the entire procedure. I will have some help. I mean, um, I will be given some kind of medication to help relax me, take the edge off, you know, just kind of lull me out. Um, and then, after that, they'll make some puncture wounds in my skin and strategic areas that they choose. Now, I'm having my upper and lower stomach done which is two different regions um, because I guess it's a lot of real estate so they consider that to two areas and I will also be having my inner thighs done once I get all relaxed they will give me a local in the areas that they're going to make the puncture wounds in they'll make the puncture wounds they are small they're just little openings that they will stick a cannula into they will be using a fluid called tumescent fluid. Tumescent fluid, I don't know if it contains lidocaine or it reacts like lidocaine, but I, I think it contains it. But they inject the tumescent fluid into these holes that they created. And the tumescent fluid is supposed to turn your fat into liquid so that they can get it out of there. So they're going to put this stuff in and I'll like massage the areas and get it all worked in. There's a little waiting period there. Once the tumescent fluid has done its job, then the doctor is going to go back in with the cannula. And the cannula is it's just like what they use for, you know, regular lipo. It's a vacuum. So they'll use this cannula and they will go in and they will suck this stuff out. Now, not all of it's going to come out, okay? There will be some left and there's a fluid. But he'll work, he'll work the cannula and he'll get all these fat deposits and he'll keep working it until he thinks that he's gotten all the fat pockets out. He explained to me that we develop all of our fat cells that we're going to have by the time we hit puberty. As we get older, they expand. So, it's not like I'm going to lose any weight with this. And, I mean, it's not anything that, it's not a weight loss solution. I've already lost all the weight that I needed to lose. So I'm at a very happy weight for me, for my body type, for my preference. Not too skinny, not too thick and this is just to remove these fat pockets that won't go away with diet or exercise so he'll get these fat pockets out and just think of it like like popcorn you know you start out with a little kernel and then when you put it in the microwave you know it expands so that's kind of what my fat has done and it's really stubborn and it just won't go away so we'll suck that out after he's happy with sucking out all this fat deposits, then he's going to go back in there and do the facer part. Now this uses a laser. This basically helps break down, break things down more. And the light also, it helps the skin to retract. Now, once he has used this and he's satisfied with those results. I'm having a skin removal on mine. So then he he's gonna have to be really careful about this because if you take too much skin then you're all hunched over and, and if you've looked at any plastic surgery um, forums or anything I mean you understand that if he takes too much it's gonna create a problem. So uh, he has to be very careful and precise about what he's doing. And if he leaves too much, then the patient's not going to be happy. So, 
He has to use good judgment in what he's doing. He will cut away the skin and he'll sew me up. So I'm still going to have the, the scar that a lot of people have from liposuction. It's going to go from one side to the other. Once he's done with removing what he wants to remove, he's told me that he'll give you staples to staple me back together so that my skin meets again. And I'm not, I'm not exuberant about that. I've had staples before. I really thought that in something like this, you know, they use some maybe dissolvable stitches and some glue. However, the reason why they're using staples is I will drain uh, for approximately the next 48 hours, give or take. Could be less, could be more. And the longer you drain, the better. So hopefully it'll be 48 hours and more that this stuff drains from my body. So if you use the staples, you still have those openings to allow the fluid to drain. And it'll drain out of all of those holes that they made to stick the tumescent fluid in and then the candle in. Those will not be stitched up. They won't be butterflied or nothing. They will be left open. So you have to be really careful to keep those clean. And that's where you drain out of. And they'll seal themselves up in a few days. You're, they're so small. There's really not a need for stitches or, or butterfly tape or anything. Once all of that is done, I go home the same day. I'm, there's no overnight hospital stay involved in this. Now, being that I live an hour and a half from the med spa, which is where my procedure will be performed, they have a surgical suite there. Equipped just like one at the hospital has everything and My med spa is actually right down the street from the hospital like about two blocks So if something went wrong, I mean we're right there. I don't think anything will and they perform this procedure every day But there's that just in case but being that I do live and I want to have a way and need to see the doctor the next morning and We're gonna stay in a hotel the night of the procedure so that's a good thing because you have to go see them the next morning and the nurse changes your bandages for the first time washes your post-surgical garment which I was fitted for last week and uh, given my job I ordered an extra one because I'm going to be in this thing for several weeks and so I wanted to so I can I hand wash it whenever I take my showers and the truck stops in, take it, I'd have a dry one to put on, I could take the wet one discreetly, put it away, take it to the truck and hang it in, out in the truck inside there to dry. So I'd have a clean one for the next day. Because uh, I can't, there's no, you know, driving to you, I don't have the time to wash and wait to dry and all that. So that's all good but that is basically what's going to happen i will my surgery is on september the 14th of 2012. i will be home the very next day and that's where i'll convalesce and i stay on the go so much i'm a little concerned about convalescing because I'm not a big television watcher. I'm not good at staying down, which you, know, you need to walk. You really do for your circulation and stuff. So I figure I'll be doing a lot of walking, but I'm going to be really bored at home. So my about out of time. This 10 minutes goes by fast. It's so crazy. I don't, sometimes I don't say 10 words out loud all day, and I get on here and it. 10 minutes is gone before you know it. So that's basically what I'm having done. And I will come back in a little while and try to get in one more video before I go to work. I gotta go to work here in a couple hours. I'll try to get in one more and show you the supplies that I have to have and tell you about my instructions. So see you then. If you haven't already, hit subscribe.